Hey there everyone, happy Friday King 5 meteorologist Adam Claybon here to talk about this cold air that's going to be sticking with us at least for another night and into the earlier part of Saturday. We're still in first alert weather mode because of that we might have to extend it even further out because well, we got some more lowland accumulating snowfall that is on the way. We're going to get into the details of that plus talk about just the overall pattern, how it's looking wintry on into not only just this weekend, but for a lot of next work week as well. Today it doesn't look wintry at least a lot of sunshine is out there. It is shining brightly and it's a beautiful look right now as we look live in Seattle. Let's go over to Everett now and you can see same story there off into the distance. A look at the Cascades, some of the mountains that are showing up to some of those parts at Bellingham. We have clear blue skies here. Winds finally starting to come down after the breezy, breezy time we've had here over the past two days. Westport, we got clear skies out towards the coast as well. Looks like the waves not quite as violent as they were earlier into the week. La Push, a few clouds out into the parts there, but overall lots of sunshine and just really cold air as our school that site looking at Granite Falls shows you Mount Pilchuck off into the distance. The snow covering the mountain there and then a beautiful scene looking across the Oklahoma Pass. A lot of very blue crisp skies there as we head into our afternoon and looking at the mountaintops they are covered with snow. So let's go ahead and get into it again. First alert weather that is uh, now through Saturday and we're talking about maybe Saturday night and may have to extend it into early Sunday. Uh, yes, the colder temperatures are going to be around at least through early tomorrow morning, but we have rain and snow and probably the majority of that will be snow early on into Saturday night as we'll start to pick up some accumulations there. And we're talking about for a lot of the Puget Sound area, uh, the coastal areas may be starting off as snow eventually starting to see things switch on over to rain as this is going to be a different animal than what we saw earlier into the week. Now this morning slows were the coldest we've seen so far here throughout the week. We dropped down to the teens and the lower 20s down to 22 that temperature out at SeaTac Airport. That is a new daily record low beating out the old record of 24 and overall today 38 degrees for a high looks like Saturday. We'll see those rain and snow chances late, but a good chunk of the day actually going to stay fairly quiet. So 43 degrees if you have any early plans into the afternoon. You should be fine there. It's into the evening and the overnight hours that we'll see those areas of snow. Yes, some rain mixing in initially and then more of that rain to come on into the earlier part of your Sunday as some warmer air tries to find its way in here, but that will decrease throughout the day on Sunday. So thankfully it looks like more of an overnight event, but still if you're going to be out during that time that you're going to want to keep an eye out for. Colder air is continuing to dive in across the country low zero across more the northern tier back into Montana, North and South Dakota. Seeing here we're on the western edge of it, but a lot of cold air is across the west coast and that it starts to extend all the way down to San Francisco. Now 45 43 in Las Vegas, even Los Angeles 52. That's chilly for them. Phoenix at 58 right now, and that is diving southward and starting to head farther to the east. So we'll start to see things ease a little bit with the chill that we have. As far as our current numbers here, as we get closer to the noon hour, we're in the upper 20s to low 30s. Uh, numbers are going to feel even cooler though because of that wind that's still out there. Now, not quite as much wind, but still any bit that we do have, it's going to make it feel like we're in the 20s and still up there around Bellingham, Blaine, Linden. We're talking about teens for those wind chills as winds have come down to around 10 to 15 as opposed to being up closer to 40 up into those parts. But most spots right now are sitting at 10 or maybe less miles per hour. Now for today, we're going to keep things relatively quiet with the high pressure that's in control. You go farther to the south. Yeah, there's that system that impacted us earlier into the week with some of that snow. It's down into California and it's lowering their snow levels and they're going to see some snow in some locations that usually and typically don't get to see the snow into some of those parts, but a lot of rain for them. As I zoom in, you can start to see how that white spreads out just a bit more into some of the coastal ranges there of some of the mountains and that continues to extend all the way down around the Los Angeles area, getting more into the foothills and more so uh, I would say into the mountains there into some of those parts. Now today, yes, temperatures are going to warm up slightly, so I wanted to give you that hope at least and the sunshine that's going to help out. We're up by about two or three degrees from where we were at this point yesterday, but overall we're still talking about an afternoon that's going to be about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than where we should normally be. And then once the sun sets again, we're falling quickly back into the 20s for those overnight lows. Now looking at future temperatures, here we are into this morning and we're going to see that temperatures warm back up into the mid to upper 30s by the afternoon. And then once we head just around that sunset time or a little before, we're falling back near or just above that freezing point. 
later into the night. Evening plans you have upper 20s, lower 30s. Uh, this is going to be a little different from last night. Last night we had more of the wind, so wind chills were in the teens. This go around, I think, will keep wind chills in the 20s for a lot of locations, and then we'll cool down eventually around the low to mid 20s by early tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, check out what happens with the temperatures. We're starting to climb a little bit back above that freezing point, and we get back into the 40s in a lot of locations late tomorrow afternoon, 4 to 430. Now, once we head into the nighttime hours, I wanted to point this out right here. We're going to keep an eye out for that moisture as it comes in, and as it's already impacting areas, especially across the north coast, you can see here closer to Fort Angeles and Quileute, our temperatures quite a bit different than what you're seeing closer to Puget Sound. Why is that? Well, we have the moisture moving in. A lot of that dry air in place, that's going to help to cool the air mass once we start to factor in and we start to introduce some precipitation to it, and that's why temperatures will drop. The same case will be for us farther to the east here, closer to Puget Sound, once we start to get the moisture in later on into the night. So the moisture comes in, and the temperatures, they start to drop. And we're going to be close to that freezing point, so any sort of snow that we get will be more of the sort of wet and slushy variety as opposed to the dry and really getting rock hard and icy. But we are going to have a few slippery spots later into Saturday night and early Sunday morning. So that will be the time that you want to keep an eye out for maybe some of those slick areas to develop. By 630 heading into Sunday morning, you can see again temperatures near if not above the freezing point. So that will help us out as far as the road conditions, especially once the sun begins to rise and we'll continue on into the afternoon with temperatures and the mid to upper 30s, kind of here and there, some low 40s starting to pop up. And with the convergence zone action, whatever sort of shower activity we have, that might help to draw down a little bit of that cooler air into the upper part of the atmosphere to create just a bit more of that snow as we go later on into the day. But I think the accumulation should, large in part, be coming to an end. Now, as we look at that on future radar, you can see for the rest of today, clear skies, quiet. Then we headed to tomorrow morning, 1030. Still quiet here across all of Wall Street, Western Washington. By tomorrow evening, 5 p.m., that's where you can see out along those coastal areas, we're starting to see that moisture arriving. Colder air uh, in place, as well as that really dry air mass, plus the moisture, that's going to help to drop temperatures down closer to that freezing point. It's a process we call evaporative cooling. Now, as we go later on into tomorrow night, by 10, 1030, then everywhere here looks like it's going to be crossed with some of that snow. And yes, generally just snow, maybe some rain mixing in, but those areas that probably won't see as much right here across the northeastern clip of the Olympic Peninsula and then around parts of Camino and Whidbey Island, which will get sh blocked by the mountain chain right there by Vancouver Island and then getting blocked by some of the Olympics as well as this moisture starts to move on through. So amounts are going to be limited in those locations, but overall we're expecting maybe one to three inches to come through for most locations. And then by early Sunday morning, five to six o'clock, starting to see at least the widespread chances of snow and rain beginning to come to an end. We'll see, still keep some spotty chances into later tomorrow afternoon now or into Sunday afternoon. Sorry. And then you can see by the totals, we're going to keep those amounts generally less than three inches areas farther to the north, maybe not seeing as much with less of the moisture around. That includes us closer to Bellingham, too, as we'll see a lot of the moisture kind of wrung out by some of the higher terrain over Vancouver Island. Plus, you can see the farther south you go, I think around Tacoma, maybe some blocking because of the Olympics with some of the moisture there, but anywhere between a half an inch, an inch, maybe two inches will be possible, and it's all going to be dependent on how that moisture really tracks once, once it arrives. I think the overall thing, what we're trying to get to you here is that we're expecting we're expecting to see between an inch to three in most spots here around Puget Sound and over the Kitsap Peninsula. Maybe a little higher around Hood Canal, and then we could see some higher amounts there closer to the north coast, depending on how temperatures hold up once we head on there into the evening for tomorrow and heading on into early Sunday. And then once we get beyond that point, here we are Monday and Tuesday seeing rain and snow chances around a lot of the deep moisture heading southward. So that will probably save us from any sort of significant accumulations. If we are to see any of that at all, we'll go into Wednesday. We got a slight break there. I think we'll keep things uh, dry heading into Wednesday before we head back again, heading into Thursday. It looks like for those rain and snow chances coming through yet again, probably more rain than snow heading into that point. And if you want any help, here it is right here. Spring, not too far away. March the 20th, less than a month. And that will begin at 224.
p.m. It's coming, guys. Today's forecast, we top off in the low to mid 30s farther to the north, but plenty of sunshine that's going to help out and lighter winds farther north as well. Highs uh, getting close to the 40 degree mark might hit that around Monroe, Issaquah, North Bend, but I think generally mid to upper 30s around Paulsville. Parts of Seattle, areas farther south, it looks like more the mid to upper 30s with a few low 40s around those parts as well. And your forecast as we go into the night looking to be another chilly one with lows dropping down into uh, the mid 20s, some low 20s farther south as we'll be farther away from some of the clouds arriving later on here into the evening and then probably keeping things just a bit warmer farther to the north. Here's your forecast that we're still in. Yes, that first alert weather mode for today and heading into the day for tomorrow. Looks like Sunday. Those chances of rain and snow will be getting out of here fairly quickly into the morning and then we'll go on into Monday and Tuesday. Next Thursday, seeing more areas of rain and snow yet again in the forecast as the winter pattern does look to continue. So the big story will be that you need to keep an eye out if you're out Saturday night. Also, another thing too is that you need to keep yourself warm here. I know it's going to be warming up slightly later into the night, but you're going to want to still bundle up and layer up too as we head on into your evening and then on into your early Saturday morning. But we're going to get through it. Everyone we will eventually start to get to that spring and we'll eventually start to see things warm back up. Take care have a fantastic Friday, a wonderful weekend, and we'll talk to you later.